what it is, what it's looking like, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Follow the trail where I never lead you astray, you heard me? So, just a quick video right here. I just want to go over the Super Bowl ring um, strategy item and also the head-to-head -head house rules. And, you know, is it worth doing it? Is it worth getting this strategy card and also the updates of the Super Bowl promo that just recently came out? So, let's get right into it. Let's get into the nitty-gritty. So, as you guys can see here, um, oh yeah, yeah, before we get into the video too, make sure y'all like the video, man. Press that damn like button, man. You're here for a reason, bro. I need all the help I can, man. It takes two seconds. Help the channel out. I appreciate that. And as well, go to the link in the description. The 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 the, the, the Twitch the, um the Twitch link is in the description down below. You hear me? And also we're gonna have an, another video dropping a little later. You know, it's gonna be a little special video, you know, a new type of video, you know, going over the NBA, just a little talking video. So stay tuned for that. As well. Let's get back into this, the nitty gritty, get back to the business at hand, the Super Bowl ring strategy item, is it worth getting? As you guys can see, it takes one, two, three, four, five, six ring fragments. You get all the ring fragments just through playing um, the challenges. So play all your Super Bowl challenges and also go to the Super Bowl um, field pass, which I'm going to go and show you guys and just complete the objectives and as you go along, the actual field pass, you'll also get some more ring fragments. That's pretty much how you'll get them all. And there's also a set in the store. So, I mean, a set in the um, the actual set binder where you actually can go and you can actually complete. You actually can complete a set to get one ring fragment. But the other five, you have to get through the field pass and through house rules. So let's get right to it, bro. Oh, okay. And, and I think we did actually go up a couple levels. Level up times two. We went up from level 48 to level 50. So I believe we got 40k. Yep, we got 40k um, XP for the daily objective. So make sure y'all complete the daily objectives. Let's go ahead and open this right up on the video. To see what the hell we can get, bro. For the second video, give me, give me, give me, give me a time breaker, bro, so I can come up. Okay, all trash. Okay, appreciate that. I love it. I love it a lot. I love it a lot. Thank you. Thank you a lot for that, EA. I appreciate that. So we level 50, which is one level away from Gronkowski. You know what I'm saying? Just a sidetrack one level away from Gronk. We will have him very, very soon. But that's what I just got right here, I believe. The Daily Tractor, track, Tracker, I got this one um, down here. The 40K one for 25 days. So five days, we'll have the 30. And now I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get the rest of this goddamn XP to get this dude. You know what I'm saying? But that's when the Super Bowl promo comes into hand. So the Super Bowl promo has updated i got 20k xp sitting right there you know what i'm saying and then i'm going to get that by doing these challenges so completing these challenges getting all the xp for completing these challenges is going to help me go along this field pass as as far as these stats right here just go into an arcade challenge and get some goddamn fumbles a defensive arcade challenge and then just complete it over and over and just get a hell of fumbles on the cpu you know what i'm saying but you have to have a super bowl player in your lineup so that free car that you guys gotten that you that we all should have gotten it's a free jerome bettis running back card put that in your um backup running back slot and you can actually complete these two objectives right here and you can do it offline you know without having to worry about going online and doing that so that's going to help you guys with that field pass and to get some more xp for the regular field pass you dig um speaking of that in the challenges I just want to go over and check because i haven't actually checked out the challenges yet because they recently put them on here okay ea i don't give a damn bro with the, with the stupid little glitches ea be having oh there's something wrong with your lineup even though there's nothing wrong with my goddamn lineup and they just kicked me out the goddamn challenges bro ea why damn so here we go right here it's 40 challenges 20 each god damn that's a lot of damn challenges man jesus so you do get another ring fragment down here at 80. So that will help you guys out if you want to stay away from the house rules, which I don't fault you guys from wanting to stay away from the house rules. The rest of the stuff you're getting BNDs or um or us 86 plus Super Bowl player or XP. That's pretty much all you're getting for that. So make sure you do that to get as much free as possible from EA. Like I said, the challenges haven't been too involved um, when it comes to the Super Bowl challenges. So that's food for thought with the challenges. There are updated, so get on those ASAP, you dig? So, as far as the Super Bowl card goes, just like Gronk, like Gronk pretty much upgrades your whole team 
um as as they actually they're not even showing me any of the, any of the chemistries down here any of the goddamn chemistries ea what the hell is going on why is there always something that doesn't work in this goddamn game can somebody please tell me why is always something that doesn't work and it's still not down here okay all right forget it bro i just want to let y'all guys know alex kappa he was a 95 now he's a 96 he got the boost from the strategy the, the strategy card as well for defense ronnie law was a 97 now he's a 98 and when you may be asking yourself or asking me trey what the hell you mean by the boost what boost do they get um if you guys have not seen it in the actual um picture i had popped up you know you can either go back to the beginning of the video or i'm going to show you guys right here so the super bowl ring what it does we can go to compare and just show you guys it gives you plus two catching plus two tackle plus two impact blocking and plus one strength to every one of your cards they do not have to be super bowl players they do not have to be a certain chemistry so do not worry about that all of your players gets that right there plus two catching plus two tackle plus one strength plus two impact blocking which i think it'll mainly help like the defensive line and the offensive line because the impact blocking the strength is really big for the lineman and the tackle like i said that's big for the defense the catching good for the offense but in in totality putting that on all of your players is going to boost some of your guys up and help your overall and who knows you might see a little difference on the field you may not you most likely won't because all these numbers and all these boosts and stuff that you see on your team I think it's all eye candy. You hear me? I think it's all goddamn eye candy, and I don't necessarily think all the boosts really matter. But who the hell knows? It's EA Sports. You know what I'm saying? As far as tips, I would give you guys for the actual head-to-head -head, um, house rules right here. The key is each team gets seven plays to score two times for 20 plus yard tds and one point for any plays that goes 10 yards or more the key is if you just let your opponent score a goddamn 20 yard touchdown or just let them score come out a field goal block let them score and then you come back on the other end and hopefully the guy that you're playing they let you score and do the same thing go for two both you guys would be at 15 points and once overtime gets there just play it out once overtime gets there just play it out man you'll get a good amount of xp um either way or a good amount of points you'll get a good amount of points either way when it comes to it you know what i'm saying so that's that that, that that's pretty much um that's that's pretty much how we're looking when it comes to those um house rules you know you guys are want to come out of field goal block let your opponent score go for two let them go for two then vice versa you do the same thing for your opponent let them score come out of field goal block let them score let them go for two and then over time just go ahead and play it out that way you guys are going to get as many points as possible when it comes to re um that bar you see the top right those pp whatever points practice points the more points you score in the house rules games the higher amount of practice points that you get which means the faster your bar goes so when you guys both get 15 points and then after overtime whether you win or lose you're going to get a good amount of those practice points and your bar is going to move faster obviously if you win you're going to move a little bit farther as far as the bar goes and i just want to show you guys it, 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 it's kind of funny you can come out and try to do this for some guys and they will come out and throw you with stevie so let me give you guys an example so i'm doing this guy this pre-advice idiot i'm coming out of field goal block right i'm like all right bro here you go let's go ahead and let's do this man i'm trying to help you out help me out you know what i'm saying in some cases let me pause it in some cases your opponent will not care and they will dot you up the field and score a touchdown and they'll come out and play regular defense because they don't understand the method i'm trying to explain you know what i'm saying they'll just come out and be trying to be sweaty and be tryhards but in this case this guy he can't score a field goal block so Dion said give me that and let me snatch it and i'm like what the hell f it i'm taking it to the crib and then after i thought taking it to the crib i'm a duggy on you teach me how to dug it Te teach me how to dug it hey all my bitches love me you know what i'm saying so in that case that's just it, it's just a, a case of a guy being a goddamn idiot a stupid ass motherfucker you know what i'm saying pre-advice let me give you some pre-advice right quick pre-advice just score a goddamn touchdown bro 
just just score a goddamn touchdown it's not that hard to dot a goddamn field goal block yes i could have came out on an easier field goal block but at the end of the day it's field goal block score a goddamn touchdown and then come out and help your other person out and then as well make sure y'all go out complete those goddamn challenges to help you upgrade that field pass for the super bowl promo uh, field pass and that will help you reach a little bit faster to get you a gronkowski you dig my gronk is always up uh, almost up all the way i'll have a video as soon as i get that man fully upgraded and some gameplay with him as well but until next time y'all stay blessed be easy stay breezy man